Last time, we have learned about multiplexer. A uh, multiplexer is the, the device that you can select a data from one of multiple input to single output. Oppositely, the max or the multiplexer, uh, multiplexer have one input but have multiple output, and you can select that which output that you want the data from input go so for example for this one there are one input and four output so you need to use two bit of selector signal to select that data A can go to output Y0 or Y1 or Y2 or Y3. For example, if you set value of S1, S02, S00, the data will go to Y0. If you set S1, S02, S01, data A will go to Y1. And if S1, S0 is 10 or 2 in, in decimal, data A will go to Y2. And if S1 is 11 one, or 3 in decimal, uh, data A will go to Y3. Or you can write as this uh, function table. Namely, for S1 is 0 is 0, so, so Y0 so, okay, go to A. Right? A go to Y0, then Y0 equal to A. For another output, the value will be not active. If it active high, so its value is 0, 0, 0. And for its 1, its 0, its 0, 1, okay, uh, it's go to y1. So y1 equal to a. Okay, another output becomes 0. For 1, 0, y2 go a, and the output becomes 0. And for 1, 1, y3 equal a, and the output equal to zero. So from this you can write equation for each output. For example, y zero okay, is equal to a right when input is uh, zero equal to zero when s one is zero is zero one and b zero when s one zero is one zero and uh, equal to zero when s one is zero is y one. If you can remember last time, we uh, learned about how to write equation for uh, multiplexer, right? The same technique, you can apply this one. Namely, y0 equal to the condition from, from uh, selector signal. Then you can write as uh, s1 prime and s0 prime and the value that you want to be is a, right? Plus what else? 0, 1, right? So it's S1 prime and S0 and data that you want to be is 0 and 0 plus 1, 0. So S1 and S0 prime, the data is 0 plus 1, 1. So it's S1, S0 and 0. So in this case, okay, this term becomes 0, 0, 0. So the equation is S1 prime, S0 prime, and A. Like this. For Y1, Y2, Y3, also the same method. So after you obtain the set of output equations, you can write a schematic or a diagram, okay? Follow this equation. And from this, please take a look at this equation and also this uh, circuit again uh, is the same as decoder circuit. Decoder from the previous. Uh, how about this? Decoder, decoder, decoder circuit. Basic one. This one. Okay. This one. Okay, it is the same. So same hardware, but different uh, 
software or meaning AMD AMD okay, this page okay for uh, if you use uh, decoder T T T is enable right enable input enable input actually it is uh, some kind of control input and a b is uh, data input so for example if a b is zero zero so y y zero active right if if uh, enable g active okay but for the multiplexer for the multiplexer we will consider g terminal as data input and a b as control input for control input uh, in this case is uh, work as a uh, selector signal to select or to control that this data input uh, we go to output y0 or y1 or y2 or y3 so you can use the same ic okay same uh, ic number to use uh, as decoder and demand pixel is on uh, data input interpretation the next topic is uh, exclusive or gate for exclusive or actually you you used to learn right uh, it's similar to all right uh, except uh, in this case when input is one one the value will be zero so in internal hopefully we, we consider it and uh, output will be one when input x y uh, different okay but if input x y the same output will be zero okay. this is one is for uh, two input x or function and now if uh, you want to write expression for example if consider logic one output so it will be one when x y is zero one so you can write that x prime y and one zero x and y prime and you okay, sum of these two terms so you can get uh, something like a uh, formula to convert the uh, sum of product to uh, x or function namely namely if you have uh, the pattern of this uh, maybe square prime and triangle plus square and uh, triangle part okay you can conclude that it's uh, square x or triangle okay so from this so you can write it is from and if i if i for example change y to y prime prime change x to x prime prime okay what happened for x prime prime okay I can consider as this one square prime and y prime for y prime let's consider it as a triangle term plus plus what plus x prime or square and what triangle prime triangle is y prime prime okay so all together that means you can conclude that it's square x or uh, triangle right square is x prime triangle is y prime that mean that mean x x or y equal to x prime x or y prime that means you can invert both input variable and you still uh, get the same result so for circuit uh, symbol uh, for x or you use this one right but based on this expression is on this expression namely uh, this one is x 
y right i'll put it x x all y okay but it for x prime x all y prime also did give the same result so you can add this inversion bubble at the input and this one still be x or function okay and furthermore actually you, you can uh, arrange this term and you can uh, conclude that and you can add pair of inversion bubble any place namely uh, both at input or one at input one at output so you, you still have the same okay to input xr gate and if you consider logic zero output so you can consider as what zero so right max term is x plus y one one x prime plus y prime okay this is the basic one so you you uh, you please remember this one and if possible please remember this one also it's often used okay, to to uh, arrange or convert uh, sum of product from two x or simple and for this one product of sum to x or symbol okay and for this part just show you how to use only NAND gate to implement XOR function namely based on this this expression uh, x right x prime x prime x this is y prime okay then x and m x and y prime y and x prime and sum together for x and y prime okay this output of end gate and you can consider this as uh, x and y prime plus zero this zero okay I, I write it as x and x prime and then x and x and right you can uh, use the uh, factory theorem so for this one uh, x prime plus y prime is x and y if all of this similarly for this output is x prime and y right so you can do the same namely you can add what and uh, zero right okay and uh, consider zero maybe as y and y prime okay for this so you can conclude that this output is y and x and y prime okay so this is the common term between this point and this point so you can use this one this one is nan right x y and and then input is nan and x and y and then sum together by using this or gate so when i add pair of bubble pair of inversion bubble so you can get nan gate at here nan at here and nan at here and nan at here that means you can implement uh, xor okay to input xor function by using only nan gate okay so you need four nan gate to implement this one and for x now x now x now exclusive now okay it's similar to now except this case not zero but one so when you compare with xr actually it's input of xr namely if input xy is different value output will be zero for x now and output v1 if input xy are the same and for the formula for uh, x now actually you can consider uh, logic one output so you can get x prime and y prime on one is x and y okay, and sum together 
or if you consider logic is your output so you can consider as what x plus y prime x prime plus y okay and then and together okay this is for the expression for x now and because x now is opposite to x r so you can add what bubble right add the output of x r then become this or add this one cancel together become this add this one cancel together become this so you can know that number of inversion bubble of x now is odd right it's odd number but x r is different number of inversion bubble and for this that's show and came at for x r and x now in some application for x r and the first one is parity circuit but it is used to check okay number of uh, logic one namely for example uh, if i is one zero one one zero number of logic one is three right is odd if i use something like this or xr right one xr zero is one and then x all one one x all one is zero right and x all one again zero x all one is different is one okay and x all zero the result is what one x all zero different is what it one so if output is one that mean number of logic one is odd Uh, actually basically you, you should know something like this for xr to input xr gate if you uh, apply zero at here and x at here how about the output when x is zero zero is the same output is zero right when uh, x is one one so different output is one so output same as x right namely 0 x or x equal to x but what happened if I change uh, 0 to 1 is 1 this is x 1 x or x if x is 0 0 1 so different of this one if x is 1 1 1 of it is 0 so you can see that output opposite to x let me output is x prime namely one x or x equal to x prime right that mean that mean if you uh, have for example one right and do x or two zero then it will be output will be uh, opposite to zero then it become one right if there is one again then it will be, will be invert again right okay invert again output then become zero then if input is one again then output is one but if this is zero output is to be the same that mean that mean that mean uh, when you use uh, multiple uh, x or gate to XR data for many bit the output of XR function will be one if number of logic one is one no no or uh, internal is is one three five okay so it's odd number of logic one you give logic one output okay. so you can do this one to check odd parity Circuit. and for the circuit connection you can uh, connect something like this uh, this output and this input value 
and this output connect to next input value or you can use this one x all together x all together x all together and this output of x all gate this output of x all gate x all again together and so on so you can know the number of x all gate you use this one and this one are the same the same number of logic gate namely if you have n input you will use what if you choose two you use one xr gate if there are three input variable you use two to input xr gate right and so on that means for for n input so you use n minus one right xr gate this one also same number of logic gate but but this one is faster right because uh, you can operate this okay at the same time but for this one you must wait this one okay to give a variable output okay before using this one okay to uh, operate and wait uh, some propagation de delay time of this one okay and so on so this one is faster free structure right? and for this one is it's called the chain uh, connection structure okay and for this one just show example I see number uh, 280 this one is a 9 bit parity generator okay there there are uh, 9 bit input and two output for event and odd if output odd active is one that mean number of logic one is odd okay. and if uh, output event is one that mean uh, number of logic one active input is event number for the inside the circuit node inverter at here to invert function from odd odd actually is is uh, x r right when you add this invert at here so you can invert the result from odd to even for example uh, when you use this one uh, if you apply one one zero one 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 zero one one so number of one now is odd right then output is one okay what is one even is zero and for some application you may uh, use for example only four bit or eight bit and how about unused input what should you do yes okay in this case you should connect to zero right Okay, because zero is all uh, anything. Okay, so it's to be uh, the same result. But if you connect to one, I would be opposite. If you connect nothing, most of uh, logic gate, most of logic gate, if you connect nothing, okay, or leave it uh, floating, uh, normally it may be some noise coming or or uh, or input may be uh, become logic high okay most of logic gate. so be careful about this input and uh, one more application for XOR function you can use it at adder adder at first let's try to add this one one zero one one and uh, zero zero one one okay for example so one and one is uh, zero and one carry out right okay, this is the result sum okay the result this one is carry carry out 
and carry out of this digit will be carried in for the next digit and then when you sum 1 add 1 add this carry in so your uh, this so is 1 carry, 1 carry out again this carry out become carry in for the next digit then you add 0 to this 0 and add this carry in then it become 1 0 carry out after that you add 1 to 0 and add this 0 carry in so it become 1 and 0 carry out so you can note that when, when you do uh, do addition for each digit you, you do uh, add ding two times right this one first and second okay if you do uh, this it's called full adder okay full adder but if you add only this part okay not add to carry in it's called half adder okay okay let, let's start at half adder first for half adder you add to be namely 0 and 0 the result is 0 and no carry out then 0 add 1 is 1 no carry out 1 and 0 is 1 no carry out 1 add 1 is 0 1 carry out like this okay. this is half sum this one is carry out so when you obtain this one you can write equation for each output for this one obviously it's xr function right okay because if you want when uh, half sum is 0 1 or 1 0 x prime y or x y prime is xr and for carry out it one when x y is 1 1 so it's x and y after that when you get the output equation so you can write circuit diagram or uh, half adder how about full adder for full adder we will add more uh, one bit of carry in for example 0 plus 0 plus carry in is 0 and no carry out 0 plus uh, 0 plus 1 carry in is 1 no carry out and so on so this 3 bit value sum together give result s and carry out value that means 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1 no carry out 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1 no carry out 0 plus 1 plus 1 to 1 right then uh, sum uh, is 0 and carry out is 1 1 zero, so is 1 no carry out 1 zero, 1 zero, 1 carry out 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 0 1 carry out and there and the last 1 1 1 is 1 1 carry out from this okay you do uh, after that you will just find equation for each output in this case I use KMAP okay for uh, yes, can write can write this, and its term for this one is x y is also carry in this one, so it's x prime y prime carry in this term is zero one zero, so it's uh, x prime y carry in prime one 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 okay x y carry in and one zero zero x y prime carry in after that you can arrange this term to x or function uh, namely namely for example x prime and x prime and so you can okay move this common term so it become x and and then parenthesis y prime carry in plus y carry in prime so this uh, uh, this term you can write it as y x r carry in right this one also x x common term so 
can uh, use factoring okay, to remove this term. This one is y prime carry in plus y carry in prime, so it's x naught, right? So this term is x naught, so invert to x naught. After that, this term and x prime, this term and x. So it's x, x r, y, x r carry in. Okay. And for carry out, it's easy. For carry out, you can find by using k map of this, and you get this three term. So it makes sense, right? Because carry out will be one if one of uh, two of inputs, okay, is one. After that, we just write down the circuit again. Follow these uh, equations. When you apply this one uh, for full adder, then you can uh, write something like uh, a module or block. So in this case, there are one, two, three, three input. Okay, you write in, in left hand side and two output, sum and carry out at the right hand side. Okay, it is right in this direction. You need to not you need not to write a uh, uh, arrow arrow here to to show the right side. Because normally we do uh, left as input and right side as uh, the output. Anyway, if you uh, uh, use uh, different position you you need to uh, use arrow okay to indicate the, the direction of the data flow like this right? this is input and output okay for for this one is one bit full adder if you want to do uh, uh, add multiple bit so you may connect something like this namely and you connect this carry out to uh, carry in of the next digit and this carry out connect to carry in for the next digit and this carry out connect to the next carry in okay this kind of is called ripple adder okay this output okay go to next input this output go to next input and so on and for this one for this one okay, you apply uh, maybe you want to add data of x3 x2 x1 oh, sorry x1 x0 okay to uh, y3 y2 y1 and y0 okay sum together and your result is s3 is two is one is zero with uh, carry out okay for for each digit in the case is uh, c uh, c1 c2 c3 okay. c1 is carrying of the digit and it's also carry out of of this digit okay for c2 is carrying of this digit which from carry out from this digit okay and so on so to to uh, complete the calculation all of this result must be correct right but for for this one for s3 if it be correct you must get the uh, correct value of carrying namely this c3 but C3 is from carry out, right? So it's you must wait, okay? By uh, it's, it, uh, internal uh, logic gate propagation delay, okay? Wait, wait some, some nanosecond, okay? And for this one will be available, or you can use this value. That means you must wait this input C2 available also and C2 will be available in need and some publication delay after uh, C1 available and also okay this C1 will be available will be available you need to wait 
when apply input uh, x0, y0. That means that mean what weight uh, with propagation delay time of this. Good. When you apply this one, wait with some propagation delay. When C2 available, you must wait for some propagation delay. And when C3 available, so you wait with one uh, propagation delay of this uh, full at the module okay? before get the available value for all bit of the result. And you can uh, summarize, okay, from this uh, relation. So we can note that if you do more bit, for example, from four bit to uh, eight bit, the delay time, okay, will be increased. So if you want to reduce propagation delay, you may use some technique. That technique is called uh, carry loop ahead. Carry loop ahead. One. Okay. For this technique, you will you, you, uh, can create uh, the value of carry out first from the original uh, input value. Okay, to calculate this one. So after that, you just uh, use this uh, carry look ahead okay, technique to do uh, add faster. Okay, and uh, for this IC, also use this technique. IC number uh, two eight three. Okay. And for the terminal, is this one. There are uh, four bit data A, A3, A2, A1, A0 at B3, B2, B1, B0 and carry in of the first digit. So A3, A2, A1, A0. This one, 3, 2, 1, 0. Add B3210. B3210. 3210. And carry in of the first digit. Okay. And the result is S3, S2, S1, S0. And carry out of the last digit. This is the, the available terminal that you can connect from this IC. And for this, I want to show how to uh, use uh, IC number 283 with the 4 bit adder okay? to do uh, 16 bit okay? adder by using uh, a technique like a ribbon adder. Namely, you connect this carry out to carry in of the next digit. Okay. And carry out of the digit, connect to carry in to the next digit. This carry out, go to the carry in to the next digit. Okay. And for this topic, to show you some uh, three step device. Three step device, maybe you used to learn uh, at the three. Namely, maybe this one is buffer, right? If this uh, control or enable input is active, indicate it's active high, no inversion bubble, right? So when it's one, you can use this as buffer. Namely, if input is one, output is one. If input is zero, output is zero. Okay, I put uh, the same value of input. But if this enable control is zero, so your output then is become 
high impedance. High impedance or high resistance. Then we just act as open circuit at this uh, output terminal. So we can create that disconnect between this one and this one. And for this one, I'm the same, but the thing and the uh, logic level of enable control. Namely, if you want to use this one as the normal buffer, you must apply zero at here. If you apply one at here, you are you are able to be disconnect from this, this, this side. And for this one, active high, enable control, but active low output. So we can use this one as inverter. Only when uh, this enable input is one. And for this one, uh, enable input is active low. So if you want to use like normal inverter, you must apply zero at here. And you want to show some application. For this one, uh, you want to send data, okay, from source P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, and W to some some something, okay, to send data. And you can connect this line together directly. Okay, it is it's called it called party line. Okay, party line. But 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 you must turn on this buffer, only one buffer for a time. You cannot uh, turn on two or more buffer at the same time. Why? Because if you turn it on at the same time, if this output is 5 volt, this output is 0 volt, what happened? Okay, last current view will flow in the circuit and uh, can uh, destroy okay, or make this uh, logic gate damage. Okay, so to do that, we use decoder okay, to generate enable signal to each buffer because output of decoder will be active only one way right? one out of n only one bit will be active okay anyway anyway uh, for safety normally we 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 not for example we not uh, let apply zero 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 to give y zero active that means this one active and another will be not active so data P will go to this output and another logic gate will be disconnect. That means data in, in this, uh, this this line, this party line will be P. And if you want to uh, send Q to this uh, party line, you must turn off all of this before. Turn off all of this. Disable all of this before the value to 001 okay or make y1 active okay this, this is called uh, data no any output active for safety okay and for this one just show some uh, device it's called a three step buffer okay. similar similar to this one for this one, you, you use a uh, common control, uh, edible control from G1 and G2, okay, and together. And it's me mean and function, but, but active low input. So, and this is want to show some application uh, to use in a microprocessor, okay, to send data to some. Uh, some place okay by using uh, this buffer what the detail about it maybe you, you will learn in maybe next semester in the subject of microcontroller okay
and another three state device uh, number one two five one two six okay one to five is active low okay and the broke control one to six active high and four is one two five four okay it's uh you can use in it as transceiver transceiver that, that means you can uh, transmit and receive okay two direction for example if you keep zero at here direction zero at here and enable is zero okay to use this one enable must be zero so this zero at here zero at here output will be zero right at here and active active both output active there is one at here so now this is zero it's like uh, open circuit disconnect okay disconnect at this point this output and one one at here okay so and the data will flow from b1 to a1 okay. this one also but if you change direction value to one what happened is this one at here so at here so active one active output is one so active one not active output is zero so this one not active disconnect okay i would be disconnect from this logic gate and one at here so this one active right and that means data from a1 you go to b1 okay another buffer also the same direction so this device you can control okay you can use this at to uh, transmit and receive the data and uh, one more application for xor you can use it as comparator comparator for example uh, if i want you to check that the value of one zero one one and if a a equal to one zero one one b equal to uh one zero one one a and b are the same value right how to check you might check out this way this bit right this bit same or not this bit same or not this bit same or not okay maybe you you use this one okay if this one is a3 a2 a1 and a0 compared to b3 b2 b1 and b0 you must check right each digit by using what equal right you want to check if it equal or not right uh, so you must choose x no gate is one call or not this one also every bit every bit okay connect to to input x not gate and then the final result will be one one mean uh, is equal together all of this output must be one right every bit must be the same that means you must use what use and right but use and gate okay to check our bit are the same or not okay if the final result is one that means every bit are the same so these two values are the same okay to check this is the same but if you want to check that it's different or not what should you do what should you do you can invert of this way right? namely namely you just add inverter at here that's all or someone maybe consider move 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 inverter bubble from uh, this xr gate output move to this okay input of this end gate and then you move 
port input terminal side to output so you uh, you you should change right the body of chef of n to r okay and then input at the output okay okay this this one is interject that is equal but if it's different you must remove this one so you xr all bit and then all together you will get uh, different okay comparator okay or you can uh, consider again okay, at, at the beginning for example a is one zero zero one b is one one zero one for example if you want to check that a and b are different or not let's com compare all of this right that different or not if one of these are different that means two values are not the same okay so how to check it's a3 a2 a1 a0 for a right and let uh, b3 b2 b1 and uh, b0 is b so if you want to check it's different you may check that a3 b3 are different or not so you do xr right a2 b2 different or not we do xr a1 b1 also you do xr to check that it's different or not b0 a0 also if one of these is different so you can conclude that these two values are different right so you must use what all right all function to check that one of these are different or not okay that's all output is different okay okay and this one also the same thing this one if you consider uh, this inversion bubble uh, cancel together okay this is there four input or gate okay and okay for interactive comparative circuit one technique okay to to use uh identical module okay maybe uh, two or more identical module to do uh, compare uh, to do the function of comparator for many bit data for example each module is module of this or this internal uh, circuit is this one use uh, x no to check input x y are the same or not and uh, this is signal uh, eqi equal input at the beginning at this bit equal input is one one if x y are the same so this output of x now will be one one and one is one and give eqo equal out and this equal out we go to uh, equal in of the next module okay and and so on that means that means for example if x1 x x0 y0 are the same on the same you give one at here right so this uh, equal out is one if x1 y1 also the same this output is one right if x2 y2 also the same is one and so on if the final final result is one that means all bit are the same but 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 for example if this one is same but x1 y1 not the same maybe one zero or zero one so the output of this one what happened one zero output of this is zero right so and anything is zero this output then becomes zero okay 
and what? This row go to uh, uh, equal in, right? So it's zero, right? And anything is zero. That means your final result will be zero. So based on this technique, you, you can use the same module, okay? To do the uh, com com uh, comparative function for uh, any bit okay, of, the of the data. And okay, what about this one? If a is one zero one one, b is uh, one one zero one. If you want to check that a is greater than b or not, how to check? Of course, you must start from MSB, right? If MSB are equal, so you check the next digit, right? If this digit A less than B, so, so uh, this condition is not true, right? A is greater than B. Okay. And the next one is A equal to 1, 0, 1, 1. B is 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, so you check this bit first, right? If it's equal, so you check the digit. If this is equal, you check next digit. It's still be the, uh, the same. So you check next digit. If digit equal uh, is greater than this one, so you can conclude that A is greater than B. Or this case. For this case, maybe 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, one okay for example so you check this one first if it's equal you check the next equal for this one if this bit a is greater than b so you can conclude that a is greater than b right okay so 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 to check that a is greater than b or not uh, you can check from msb bit for example if uh, a is a3 a2 a1 a0 b is uh, four bit uh, b3 b2 b1 b0 okay to compare so you might check that a3 is greater than b3 or not okay if a3 is greater than b3 that means a must be one right B B three must be zero, so you can write it as A and B prime, right? Okay, so A greater than B or not? Okay, you can check that A three is one, B three is zero, so A and B three prime. This is the first case. Or what? Or if a 3bt okay are the same, you must check the digit right that a2 is greater than b2 or not, namely a2 is 1, b2 is 0 or not. So you can write this as what a3 equal to b3. It's now right, and a2 is greater than b2. A2 is 1, B2 is 0. This is the second case. The third case that can make A is greater than B is A3, B3 are the same, A2, B2 are the same. A1 is greater than B1. So you can write it as A3 equal to B3, A2 equal to B2 use x now right to check that is equal or not and a1 is greater than b1 a1 is 1 b1 is 0 and the last case and this three bit are the same and a0 is greater than b0 so 
So you can write it as a three x or b three prime and a two x no b two and a one x no b one and what a zero is one b zero is zero. Okay, that's all. Okay, check that. A is greater than b. And if we want to check that, uh, A is greater than B, uh, A is greater than or equal to B, and equal. What happened? What should you do? Of course, you can add right one more condition that A equal to B. Namely, you just add uh, A three equal to B three a2 equal to b2 a1 equal to b1 and a0 equal to b0 by use x no check each bit that's all okay just for example okay and this one just show uh, uh, some example of IC number uh, 85. For 85, there is uh, this uh, A less than B in, A equal B in, A greater than B in, and A less than B out equal out, greater than out. Because it's similar to this uh, technique, iterative comparative circuit. So you can use this IC okay, to check that A less than B or A equal to B or A is greater than B. Okay. Three function you can use from this IC. And the last topic of this chapter is talking about uh, timing hazard okay, caused by gate delay. Okay, consider this one. If I start from uh, input value 111, 111 at here, right? Uh, how about the output? 1 at here, input 0 at here, 0 and 1 is 0, right? 1 and 1 is 1, 1 or 0 is 1. Okay, output is, is 1. Output is 1. Is 1. Okay. And if I change value of z, from 1 to 0 from 1 to 0 what happened? it's wire, ok the value change to 0 suddenly, right? this inverter have some delay time so, now uh, this output becomes 0 so, 0 and 0 is 0, right? so, this output now change to 0 after a little bit so, after uh, operation delay of this inverter, then the output of this inverter now is changed to 1. Okay, it puts 0, output change to 1. Then 1 and 1 is 1. Now it's changed to 1, right? 1 or 0. Then it's back to 1 again. Okay, in either case, the output should be constant 1. 1 at here, output is 1 at here also. Output should be constant 1 or static 1. But, but, because of uh, population delay of its logic gate, it makes the output okay, become 0 for a short period. It's called zero glitch. Okay? It's not, not so good if you use for some application. But if your circuit, you do just a combinational circuit in your system, this may be okay. You just wait. Then it's back to, to this one. But if you use this output to some uh, circuit like counter, okay, you, you may, it may lead to some uh, mistake. Okay. 
So if you don't want to, uh, if you want and the circuit generate a zero glitch, what should you do? Okay, you should add this term. Yeah, this one is schema, right? If you make the function by using this uh, product term, this product term sum together, namely you use minimal minimal sum to implement the circuit. Okay. Maybe this uh, zero glitch may be occur. So to protect this problem, let you add this term. Namely, you use complete sum, complete sum to implement the circuit. Then when you add uh, the term of x and y, right? So you could add one more and gate and x and y so what happened okay, input uh, 1 1 1 right this output is 1 okay f is 1 when z change 1 2 0 it's not effect right not effect this end gate is to be 1 output so output f still be 1 so no zero pitch occur And okay, do this one. Add more uh, conscious term to make complete sum. Okay, and your circuit become this. And if you use uh, product of sum, uh, some problem that we make occur is uh, static zero hazard. Namely, your output should be a uh, constant zero. But uh, because uh, buffer and delay time, uh, output will be not constant zero, and you have some one glitch okay, for for a short period. Again, to uh, to uh, the problem, okay, maybe occur when you change input value from from this to this from this to this or from this to this for example to uh, prevent the problem uh, like uh, some of that okay you use complete sum right this one also you use complete product namely you want add this this term and this term and also this term to the uh, function so you can uh, avoid this uh, static so hazard okay that's all for this chapter